to kids time. Have you all had a good week? Did any of you manage to do the craft from last week, using your senses and thinking about what God has made? In today's story, we're going to hear about Jesus and three of his disciples, Peter, James and John, going for a walk up a mountain. And then something really amazing happens. Here is today's story. Get ready to listen and to watch. Mark chapter 9 verses 2 to 9. The Transfiguration. After six days Jesus took Peter, James and John with him and went for a walk up a mountain. Jesus' clothes became dazzling white like someone had bleached them but whiter than white. Then appearing next to Jesus was Moses and Elijah, who were talking to Jesus. Peter said, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you and for Moses and Elijah. Then the cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when Peter and James John turned round. They didn't see anyone with Jesus. When they walked down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. That was a bit of a crazy story, wasn't it? Seeing Jesus, Moses and Elijah, all brilliant white and a talking cloud. In this story, we see God in all his glory. Hard to imagine, but I think it helped Peter, James and John believe that Jesus was really God's son, the Messiah, this showing us the glory of God. What way can we know that Jesus is real? The Bible. In here, we read about Jesus and why he came to earth. The Bible tells us about Jesus' birth, part of his childhood, calling his disciples, teaching people and healing people by doing miracles. It also tells us about Jesus' arrest, him dying on the cross and then coming back to life again. The Bible tells us so much more. We could learn something new every day, telling us and showing us the glory of God through his son Jesus, and in today's story, through Moses and Elijah. Today the story was told, told us that Peter, James and John could see Jesus was real and he was God's son. Jesus is real. God wants us to know that. Remember last week, I asked you to do the challenge and to stand outside in your garden, using your senses and name things God had made. There are so many things we need to thank God for, and even more so in these sad and confusing times we find ourselves in. God is still there. We might not be able to see him, but that doesn't mean he isn't there and he doesn't care. Let's pray. Dear God, we want to give you all your glory and praise. You are a great God. Thank you for giving us Jesus Thank you that we can read all about you in the Bible and learn more about you every day. Please be with us and all our family. Amen. During this week, we will be thinking about Lent. Lent is a period of 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus spent in the wilderness. And he got into a little bit of trouble with the devil while he was there. Tuesday is Pancake Day. Then on Wednesday, we start Lent. We give up something that we really enjoy for those 40 days, which leads us up to Easter. So to help you during Lent, I'm going to show you a week of tasks for you to do. A good task each day to help someone else. Here's Wednesday to Sundays. You might want to get a little bit closer to the screen when you look at these. Number one says tidy your room. Number two, Save energy, turn the lights off when you leave the room or unplug your devices. Number three, cut down on the time you spend on your devices and play a family game. 
Number four, collect a few stones ready for a craft that we're going to do at Easter. Number five, say sorry to someone who you might have upset this week. Next week, I'll give you the following week's challenges. So kids timers, enjoy your half term, you've deserved it. Be good, stay safe, stay connected and stay at home. God bless you all.